In this video, I'll show you how to add linked dynamic text to a graph in Microsoft Excel. So in my previous video, I showed you how to add text to a user form data label in Excel. So if you haven't watched that video yet, the link is available in the description box. So in that video, I essentially showed you how to create a data label, uh, a text box data label rather, and then link it to a cell and then use it in a graph. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you a very neat trick on how to add a dynamic linked text to a graph without needing to use the VBA user forms, the, uh, these controls, for example, a text box or uh, one of these labels, which are available here. Let's say you don't want to save your spreadsheet as macro enabled and you don't want to use any of these forms. There's an alternative and very quick and easy way to add dynamic linked text to your graphs. And I'll show you how right now. So the first step is to go within a cell within your spreadsheet. Uh, for this example, I'll use uh, this cell over here. And to make it a little bit bigger, first I'll merge the cells. So I'll go to home and I will merge these cells together. This is the area I'm going to be using as my linked dynamic text for the graph. Now, first I'll link it to the text which I want to be displayed. For example, in this case, it's cell F2. So there you go, it's displayed. So I'll make it a little bit bigger. There we go. So there's our uh, data label here. Now I want to add this cell to this graph. So as you can see, if I drag the graph on top of the cell, it's going to disappear. It's going to cover that text, but there's a way around that. And there's a way to be able to display that cell while this graph is hovered over it. And here's how to do that. You just have to simply right click, go to format chart area, and then click on no fill. And there we go. As easy as that, you have the dynamic linked text here displayed on your graph. Now you also have all these border lines which are displayed. You most likely don't want to see those. Now the next step is to remove those border lines. Now you can either do it from this entire sheet or you can do it for a specific area. For this example, I'll do it for the entire sheet. I'll select the full range. I'll go to color line. I'll select this color, white background, and then I'll select all borders. And there we go. And as easy as that, we have a very neat chart, which has a dynamic data label. So whenever we change this, say from 123 Front Street to 22 East 30th Street, this is going to be displayed over here. Uh, and uh, this is a very neat and creative method for adding dynamic linked text to our graph. Now, if you want to have border lines on the remainder of your sheet, you can do that as well. So as you can see, I removed all the border lines only in the part of the process in which I removed the border lines. You just need to select that particular range, for example, this range, and only remove the border lines for that particular range in case you don't want to lose your border lines for the remainder of that tab. But overall, this is a very neat method. It could be used in, in scenarios where you don't want to add a VBA style text box to your, to your workbook. And that's how it's done. I hope you found this video useful. If yes, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my next videos.